Hello you fine folks, it's time for another episode of Pokemon Coliseum. We are still exploring Mirror Bee's warehouse. So, we are going to face the hunter known as Tura. You know what, maybe the names aren't as bad as I remembered. Maybe it's XC with the bad ones. <laughs> Depending on how you read it. I don't know why they called it XC. I guess one of the developers saw the logo and was like, saw XD written on something like in a text, and they was like, wow, that looks really, that looks really nifty. We should do, we should make the game, we should call the game that. That day I just had a bunch of yes men in, uh, in the room, and they were like, oh yes, brilliant, you're a genius, sir, can I have my promotion? Uh oh, uh, ouch. Well, that sucks. It's a good thing we've almost cleared this floor. Ah, uh, soon we'll have to try and catch some more Shadow Pokemon. I just love how they can just use the Shadow and just careen into them. This is why Shadow Pokemon are good in this game. Because being able to get constant critical hits with a move with 90 power which can't be resisted is pretty damn significant even with stuff like even with stuff like Skip Loom's god awful stats. Oh yeah, I won't take the item. Well whatever, I guess we'll keep going. If it dies, it dies, we'll go off and heal afterwards. Well, more apparently difficult books. There is an item here. A revive! Is probably not going to be all that useful. So we're going to be facing these two people and I believe it's a top after that, which means I'm going to have to dash down and heal. Thankfully, it'll take like, take like a minute tops, so not much of a delay. We'll have fun. To be honest, I'm actually making a lot faster progress than I thought I would. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think consider it a good thing. What? <laughs> oh shit, Hyper Mode's so much, so good! I think that's why in the sequel they ended up taking out Hyper Mode and replacing it with Reverse Mode. And reverse mode was rather than hyper mode, basically forcing you to play the Shadow Rush spam game. Unless you wanted to call the Pokemon, then it wouldn't be. Reverse mode is an objective bad thing. It all it does is give you. <laughs> I love this animation. <laughs> All it does is put you, give you a damage over time, with no real upside. But to be honest, all the shadow moves in that game all did um, were always super effective against non-shadow Pokémon. So shadow Pokémon still good. In fact, if anything, they were better in that in that game. But it's still... It's sad, you know, when they just take away something which I enjoyed playing with so much. I think that's the main thing. I wouldn't have minded nearly so much and I hated it. <laughs> but because I like the idea of having my Pokemon me get game, like, frothing, frothing at the mouth, Berserker style smashing into people. I think, uh, I think that's why I dislike Hyper Mode being taken out more than anything else. Now, I realized the other day, aside from being offline, Meaning, meaning I have no idea what games are coming out soon. To be honest, the only game I'm really looking forward to 
that off the top of my head is Fire Emblem Fates, because I love Fire Emblem. I've played and beaten all of the ones from 6 onwards. 6 is the one which Roy was in. However, there is, you do need to find a translation patch online if you want to play that one in English. Because for whatever reason, they decided to release the prequel to that game, which was actually the sequel. Go figure. First. Yeah, that's right. The fire, um, But to be honest, anyone who's played that that game all the way to the end already knows that because Roy appears in the ending as like a little boy. And I do recommend anyone who likes playing strategy games to pick up Fire Emblem and Advance Wars. Advance Wars may be one of the best games to play uh, but I wouldn't recommend watching a Let's Play of it. Just because Advanced Force doesn't lend itself to Let's Plays very well. Just because ultimately it's like that watching a Let's Play of chess. <laughs> and that may appeal to some people as hardly going to get a lot of people excited. Where games with games like Fire Emblem, they have like, are they playing like the Iron Man mode? Like what I did. If they are, great! That adds a lot of tension to it. You don't want people to die. Especially not your favourite characters. And with, uh... And there's also a good amount of customization in Fire Emblem as well. More hyper mode! To be honest, I'm probably just going to call with uh, the... Skip Bloom just so I can get out of the way. <laughs> I just want to put it in the box and never have to deal with it again. Ugh. Skip Bloom's so bad. Thank God. Thank God it did the dumb thing. But yeah, I, um, before I moved, there was a sale in Nintendo eShop on all the Fire Emblem games on there, and I definitely recommend them. Partially because if you want to get the physical copies of the games, now? That is not cheap! I got the physical copies of the games pretty much when they came out. So I got them full price, and that was when they were cheap. So I got them when they were £40. So yeah. That's how it works. But I do recommend Advance Wars. Wouldn't recommend watching it. Because, as I said, Advance Wars doesn't give you much to look at. It's not a very visual game. It has a unique art style. That's really about it. Ooh, ooh. Right, let's do one of my favourite things. Helping hand, shadow rush, hyper mode enhanced. Crush, 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 kill, kill, kill. But Advance was great. I think Advance was the best series Nintendo's ever made. And it's been dead since 2008. And to be honest, I'm surprised it is. Because if you look at the sales figures, Dark Conflict, or Days of Ruin outside of Europe. Really? No crit? That's surprising. Sold better than all the other ones. So as for why they haven't made a new one, I don't know. I think Nintendo's happy that Fire Emblem is now successful. And I'm kind of hoping the time is right to make... Um, for a reboot of Advance Wars, especially since Advance Wars had some of the best multiplayer for people on a budget, <laughs> because it was a GBA game and later on the DS, 
and you could play hot potato multiplayer effectively. And by that I mean you play until so when it's your turn, you get past the GBA. You play and, and then you end your turn, then you pass it to the next person, and so on and so forth. And that's a great way to play. Because it means all your friends who don't have GBAs can get, play along with it too. And it's pretty easy to um, it's pretty easy to learn how to play. Advance was a very good tutorial. If I recall. And I just remembered something. I want you at the front. Actually, wait, I may want you here too. No, no, I want you. Actually, we'll go Umbreon Skip Room because I believe this is the encounter which you could break with Snatch. But I can't remember if it at the top of here. I'm going off like my memory from a while ago. Is there an item down here? No. Uh, thought that would be a good spot for an item. What do you have to say? Oh, he thinks we're working for them. That's convenient. Well, let's go up here. Made it to the top. Congratulations, we've won the game! Good god, someone likes short shorts! <laughs> Good god. I think it's just because the GameCube, for whatever reason, messes up the colours. But, but the legs are positively ghostly. Alright, Wreath. You're going down. Oh my god, a spinnerack! Oh, the humanity! Okay, I was wrong. It's the next encounter. But Skip Room's still going to be very useful here, because you'll see. Now, Reamorade, I've always kind of wanted to use a Reamorade on this team, but the problem is, it's level. It's level 20! 20! Even Wally? The, the guy we faced at the beginning, Pink Hair Guy. Even Pink Hair Guy! team has... Yeah, even Pinkhead's team was like higher level than this, by about five levels. Which basically means Room Raid is a great Pokemon, which should be great because it really fits my criteria of having a very diverse moveset which you can obtain very easily. Also, has Sleep, has sleep Powder ever hit? Pretty sure the only time it hit was when I was trying to catch it. Which kind of sucks. I'm glad I got... A critical hit! Oh, it got obliterated! Oh, you got taken... To be honest, that's, uh, that's Skip Room in a nutshell. That really is. Does it have Water Absorb? Yes, good. How is that team? Right, Shadow Rush to Love Disc, and Confuse Ray. That's a shame that Skip Boom decided, you know what, accuracy is overrated, I don't need it. It's a shame it did that, because it would be really, really, really useful to have the ability to send Pokemon to sleep. Yeah, I, I, I like Ram Raid because it has of uh, a vast moveset, which is easy to obtain. You don't have to feed it many TMs or anything like that for it to be good. Can I throw a Pokeball when it's in Hyper Mode? Yes, I can. Yeah, I keep confused wearing it. Not taking any chance. Chance of this because you're not going to be able to catch the Rio Raid. If you miss this, you're not going to be able to get another shot until the post game. And then you'll be running around with like level 50s. So I'm glad this went well. To 
something else. First time we caught it for, uh, with the first ball for bloody ages. That Yanmar put up one hell of a fight. I know I'm the ordinary trainer. I'm the only one with this arm. R robot arm thing. I'm a robot. There we go. You know, it's quite nice we're not in the desert. <laughs> just because then I... Uh, just because then I don't get annoyed about him not putting on his sunglasses and the GameCube's colours go back to like some semblance of normality. Here we go! Now, this Mantine is effectively a boss Pokémon. So my plan is to switch to Fluffy and paralyze it immediately. Because that Pokemon is gonna be brutal! Ah oh, shit, I forgot I was supposed to use Snatch. <laughs> yeah, the Mantine has Bubble Beam, and because it's like got same type attack bonus and a half decent special attack stat, and that's actually enough for it to become effectively a boss Pokemon. Also, I love the Happy Rearm Raid. For whatever reason, I think they've gotten rid of it in the more recent Pokemon games. I don't know why. I think it helps the Mantine have its sense of identity. Oh, I screwed up. But the funny thing is, if you do it right, and if you snatch before they use agility, they'll keep spamming agility, so you keep stealing it, so you're effectively stopping the po enemy Pokemon from doing anything. Which is a very useful thing to have. So now what I'm going to do is just bite the Mantine and Fluffy can switch to Quagsire because I don't think that Ipom really is much of a hope of hurting Quagsire. He's like a power flinch confuse. The bloody Mantine. And I've got up against that combo in the past because the AI loves throwing that at you, especially in the stadium games. Which means, and the problem is, is in the stadium games, if it's a coin flip, it'll almost always turn out tails, especially, especially if it's in Stadium 2. Because I know the game is wired up to go against you in that one, because it's in the data. <laughs> In the game's data, it specifically says to weight things like accuracy against the player. Which is bullshit. Oh ho 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 ho! Oh ho 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 ho! Oh ho ho ho! No 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 no! Oh ho 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 ho! Okay, we have one shot at this. Bring out the Great Ball. And we'll Shadow Rush that Apom. Because that Apom probably needs to be slammed by Quagsire. Come on, Great Ball, don't fail me now. Come on. Come on. Come on! Yes! 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 Don't have to wait until the post game. That was great. Oh, it flinched. <laughs> easy come, easy go, I guess. Oh, shit. I wasn't expecting that. Was it just a coincidence that they just spammed agility in the past then? I don't know why they're helping hand astonish of all things. Here, let me show you a real move. <laughs> We'll probably get a fair amount of XP for that. I uh, guess not. <laughs> oh, Yanmar! Oh, it's not Shadow. Oh, that means it's quite a bit worse. We'll kill their support Pokémon. I'm wondering, can you snatch the Steel Speed Boost? If the Yanmar has Speed Boost, we'll find out. Why? 
Why did you helping hand that? For those of you that don't know, Sonic Boom does a flat 20 damage to the opponent. Another flat. That's a flat amount. Can we snatch it? No, I guess the turn's technically over at that point. Oh man, I thought I discovered something cool. Ba -da -ba -da -da -da. Mwah. Oh well, we'll wrap up this match. Nice mini boss encounter. Our Pokemon pulled their weight. It's good. Well, except Skip Boom. The Skip Boom just kind of sucks. To be honest. And Jump Off would be in that same box if it wasn't the fact it had a uh, thing of chlorophyll. But even then. No, it's, it just sucks. Well, Quagsa, because you've done so much, I think I am going to call you, Quagsa. You've earned it. You've earned that Shadow Gauge reduction. Good job. I'm giving you a pat on the back. God damn it, game. Don't give, don't give me sass. You called Quagsire. <sighs> well, this works out. I think Snatch should be able to steal from Speed Boost. I, I don't tend to stay away from the competitive Pokemon things. I don't really have time to play Pokemon competitively. But that's mostly because I can't stand grinding. <laughs> and also... It's a bit... I just... I like the Ultra Super Fire Dash. Uh... I think it's a good place to end. We'll have Sylvia's lying here. And I shall see you fine folks in the next one. Bye!